Ryan Blaze dissed me one time. I don't feel like it's beef because I feel like I totally destroyed that man. <laughs> How you doing, bro? On? I'm good. How you doing? So do you got 100 bodies? Dang. Already, just off the bat. <laughs> uh, settle the score. Yes, sir. Jehovah yes, sir. is Lord. <laughs> That's my job. And you say, and you say something, something like, something like, she got nice legs. I divide them like a fraction. Yeah, come on. Come I'm sure something. if I ever throw a party, yeah, that Balaclava Blanco headlines. Ah, that would be baddies cool. in town. Are we guaranteed? <laughs> Are we guaranteed baddies? I don't know. They might hate me. It might be beef. Yeah, be like beef. before I I got on or whatever. Before everyone knew me. Yeah. Girls maybe like me. I don't know. Maybe it's the looks. You know what I'm I, ain't, I ain't trying to shout out my daddy. <laughs> shout out my mama. You know what I'm saying? Good jeans and all that. Right. But like, He's an amazing host and host. And he's going to have many more amazing people on his show. And I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey. And you know, we never know how big this is going to get. So yeah. let's just see where you take this. Take this. Juice Trooper. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Kale, he took a mole. He took a mole. He took a mole. All right, Gab to the B Dub Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? And welcome to another episode of the Juice 2.0. It's your boy. My name is TK, and I appreciate you so much for stopping by. Returning subscriber, hey, hey, hey. What's going on, famo? And if you haven't been part of the family, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please click on the subscribe. Let the family grow. And you want to get the content as soon as it drops, the notification button. That's how you do it. Thank you so much for 11,000, almost 800 subscribers on the YouTube channel. I always have to be super grateful for you because it's the gift of your time, gift of your clicking, you know, wherever you are, you're probably talking about the g 2 pointer with your friends, with your cousins, with your exes. You should not do that. Don't talk to your exes. It's over, Shaquina. But I play too much. As soon as you go on, we get on it, the comments. Let's find out what you've been saying. On this episode of the Juice 2 and some of the comments, we start with uh, the Aussie F. Teddy. Aussie F. Teddy episode. I appreciate you so much, my brother, for stopping by. I got a entertainment galore. Almost put that Setswana right on. Entertainment galore. You know what I mean? I got an entertainment galore who says, Bria the Puri. That's right. And then I have um, on the Kedi Mulusiwa episode, uh, where, is where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I got a Colleen. That's a beautiful name, by the way. Appreciate you for commenting. You say, Lizozo and Moachi. How did the date go? I'm so curious. I actually thought we could call Getty, but we don't have a lot of time. And find out, are they still kicking it or not? Uh, if you ask me, I don't think they're kicking it. I don't think they're kicking it. You know, On the Mansa main episode, I have it to me who says, my favorite podcast Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Bottom of my heart. And then on the Stefina Sabina episode, I have uh, entertainment galore one time who says juicy. All right, run it up real quick. Let's see who else said what. Okay, okay. I have a. Uh, it's Sir Dad who says appreciating ATI like that. That appreciating ATI like that. It's go tings. Bria, appreciate you, man. That's on the OZF Teddy uh, video. And uh, on the Lizibo episode, I have a DJ Kindola. I hope I pronounce your names, man. I don't I don't know why people get really, really super creative and they stretch you too much with their Instagram names and YouTube na- uh, handles as well. But, hey, it's your stuff. It's your stuff. Don't uh, No judgment over here. You say a legend, this one. That's going out to Lizibo, my big brother. All right, last but not least, it's a lot of comments. And I appreciate that. I have a mancha on the Jordy episode who says, waiting to tell a story about her. Waiting to tell a story about her. Hmm, what you got to say? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for this gentleman. At some point we spoke, but it was quite brief. Him and I were at the YSO. I asked him if he's checking out the Huns at the YSO event. He said, you know, well, if I'm not doing that TK, then what, what am I supposed to be doing? You know what I mean? And then I say, are there pretty women at the YSO? He said, look, it wouldn't be a YSO if it don't have pretty huns. Ladies and gentlemen, he has new music, self-titled EP titled Balaclava Blanco. So on the count of three, I need you to put your mother 
flipping hands together and help me welcome B Dubs Finest Bala Clava Blanco. Oh yeah. What's going on, son? What's going on, man? How What's you doing, bro? On? I'm good. How you doing? So do you got a hundred bodies? Dang. Already, just off the bat. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, man, I was talking to Tabs about this. <laughs> I don't want to believe I got a hundred bodies. There ain't no way. I think you probably... It's impossible. Look, he, 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 g- he gave me the math. Yeah. And I started... <laughs> I was like... So remind, remind us what the math is. Remind, remind us what the math the is, Tabs. The math is simple. If you had 10 partners in a year, which I don't think is crazy uh-huh. for a decade, that's you 100. You have bodies. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know about ten. That's a year. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot, man. Welcome to the show, son. Um, pleasure to be here. Pleasure how to you, be here. How you doing? I'm great, man. I'm yeah. great. Yeah. You woke up nice. Woke up good. Woke up good. Took me a little while. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I was enjoying that sleep, but yeah, I'm good. Man. I feel you. It's it's getting nippy. It's getting colder. Yeah. You know what I mean? So obviously winter sleep and naps are they they That's slap. That's my thing. They really That's slap. My thing. The last time we spoke, man, we're at the YSO. Yeah. Uh, we had a little chit chat here and there. But I thought, look, we need a longer time. We did an hour and a half or something like that. You yeah. just really appreciate Balaclava Blanco. And I thought, you know, just going through some of your stuff, the comments on your music videos, uh, could be episodes from uh, podcasts. People really feel like you're goaded and people really feel that you don't get your flowers. Is that something that you feel as a B-dub, one of the pioneers, hardest rappers? Do you get your flowers, bro? Uh, you know what? I feel like people do tend to give me my flowers. Yeah. Is this, like, for me, my ambition was, like, way bigger than B-Dub. Like, no hate. I know. You know what I mean? I, I love know. it. But, like, it was way bigger. So people be like, yo, you did this for the culture. And I, you, you know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, what does that, like, what does that mean? <laughs> Put money in my pocket, man. Right, right. You know? So, um, I don't know, man. Like, I feel, I feel like, I somewhat do get my flowers, but yeah. like, give me my money. I know. I know. <laughs> For a lot of people that are getting flowers now, it's a couple of names. But let me appreciate who you would put in your top five B-Dub rappers. Rappers. Top five top hottest five. B-Dub rappers. Okay. I feel like it depends on the criteria. Uh-huh. But I'm going to say in terms of like, reach, achievement, like, uh, I don't know if achievement is the right word, but yeah. um, I'd say... Vizo, Vizo has to be in there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna put Banty in there. Banty in there. He's done a lot. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I put Faded Gang in there as the collective, like Faded. me and you know Dilla or Dilla. Bada. Yeah. Uh, I put Ozzy F Teddy. Ozzy. Yeah, definitely top five. Yeah. And then, hey, the last spot. The who you, who you who you giving the last spot? Who you giving the last spot? Ah, I want to give it to a legend because I've been thinking like it's, it's between Zeus or Scar. Bro, you got to be careful because I have my personal favorite between the two. Yeah. Both of them are legends, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I've been, I've been vibing with one gentleman, so let's hear who it is. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to give it to Scar because... What? He's, ah, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to. Man, I have to give it to Scar. Look, thank you for stopping by. Um... <laughs> Just like that It was nice doing business with you, man But I I feel like I don't know, man Maybe it's like a soft spot But I feel he's more talented uh, who Even after Zeus? Zeus, yeah I'm you such a huge Zeus fan For real? Yeah I think I think Zeus is dope And I think because like He really did push And try to venture out into SA And right, you know, right. go international I do think he's dope Yeah Honestly, I think maybe I chose Scar for personal reasons because he's like my big homie. Yeah, you know there's I mean? always and that. Yeah, like, there's ah, always that. I gotta, I gotta take Scar. Like, there's always that. But he also, he's also done big moves and um, definitely. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, you know, it's it's hard. It's only <laughs> five spots. You. But I think I think your your top five is incredible. I think that's a yes. good representation of B Dub rap right there. Uh, yes. Your Banties, your Vizos, dog. At some point, right after the YSO event that mm-hmm. I had a chat with you at. I checked out one of your videos. Uh, I think it was uh, Untitled. Yeah. Video 2 Untitled. Yeah. Them brothers look young, dog. Yeah. Vizo and Banty. <laughs> Banty. Hey, oh, look, 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 look at, at, at Banty. Look at Banty. 
<laughs> with them glasses. I'm like, look at this. But you've come a long way, man, since those yeah, days, yeah? Definitely, definitely. What are some of the things? We'll get to your, we'll get to your new music. Yeah, and yeah. And congratulations. Ah, bless. By bless, the way. I appreciate it. But take me through the journey from the untitled, the faded gang, the fame, to mm. where you are now. What are some of the things that you have possibly learned, good, bad, and some lessons that you could share with us this morning? Um, I'd say, I, yo, it's been ups, it's been downs, you know, I, I guess it's like that with life in general. Yeah, yeah. It's been ups, it's been downs, but I'd say like, I learned like, don't, don't ever believe your own hype, the hype that you created, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you made that. Right. So don't don't fall for it. You know, it's like putting out a brand and then like selling the brand to people and then you I don't know, I feel like you you believe that the brand is so dope. Right, right. That right. that's why it's um doing the moves that it's doing. But really I feel like you're being blessed. You know mm. what I mean? You get in your moment, you're being blessed. So right, right. don't ever believe your own hype. Um don't ever have an ego. <laughs> Did you have any? I wouldn't. I mean, say, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say as a rapper, you have yeah. to have a fair share of of some ego? It's a brand. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Like, it's a brand. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I have pride. I have some a, a level of ego when it comes to rap. To but rap. I mean, like, as a person, mm. personally, the way you treat people and the relationships you have with people. Oh yeah, that's way more important than. Any type of ego that you. you know, any type of clout that having ego can bring you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I feel like you can have an ego in your music and your rap persona or whatever. Straight but up, like, straight up. as a person, don't ever buy into that. You know what I mean. I feel like that's a lot of maturity coming out of you, man. Uh, yes, yes. I've listened to you speak to people, bro. You have a good head on your shoulders, bro. I appreciate. Where do you get that from? Is that something that comes out naturally, biologically, or? You put your hands and your eyes into this and that and, you know, you sponge it up. I think, um, I don't know. Low-key, I've always had, like, I've always been good at observing. Oh, nice. Because, um, I don't know, man. People think I'm, like, I don't know what people think, honestly, like, I, I, as a person, like, who I am. Yeah. But I'm I'm very introverted. I, I, I'm an introvert, bro. It's, like, crazy, it's crazy, bro. But I don't be talking to people yeah. like that until I'm comfortable. Then I, then I can't shut up. But um, because of that, I feel like I learned to watch and I learned to see like, oh, what's really going on here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of being involved in the moment, I sit back and I'll be like, oh, okay. So homeboy over there yeah. thinks we stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm not going to say it to him. I'm just going to be like, I bet. Yeah. You know, I'd rather play the fool and let him think that, you know? Straight up. So um, I don't know. I feel like because of that, I've had I've had a lot of time to see to look on the outside at, at what's going on but yeah. also to introspect and be like okay yeah what role did i play in you know where where i'm at right now or yeah. in the situation that i'm in you know what role did i play so um yeah i think part of it is natural and part of it is just like you observation know, going stuff observing yeah. Yeah. yeah how old are you now bro i'm 31 31 32 Oh shucks! I'm yeah. possibly like a few months older than you. I'm 32 now. Yeah, I'm a 91 baby. Me too. Me February, too. February 91. So yeah. you're I'm November. November, few yeah. months. November ah, 91 too. kids. Yes, sir. You should. We should yeah, turn it up one of these days, man. You <laughs> know what I mean, bro? I'm telling you. Collaborate, you. throw a party. <laughs> I'm sure Something. if I ever throw a party. Yeah. That Balaclava Blanco headlines. Ah, that would be. Baddies cool. in town. Are we guaranteed? <laughs> <laughs> Are we guaranteed baddies? I don't know. They might hate me. It might be beef. Yeah? It might be beef. Wait, what you trying to I'm say? Not, <laughs> I can't guarantee nothing. <laughs> it might be beef. I feel you. I feel you. Look, um, speaking of beefs, have you ever yeah. actually had a beef in the industry, man? I, I know that's something that sometimes people do for clout. Right, yeah. people are actually not really hating each other, but they want to push this and that. Right? Yeah. Uh, but for real, for real, have you mm. actually from the years you started until now? I wouldn't say I've had beef. The most beef I had was probably with T Izzy. I don't know if that was beef, but oh, he yeah. dissed me on air. Oh, and I was like, I, I cannot have that. <laughs> no sir, no way. Yeah. So um, I put out a diss track, uh, Yama Yama. 15, yeah, yeah, I'm a freestyle, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I dissed him on there. I said a couple things about the station. Right, right. You know, 
And that's that's really that's about the only it. Thing, right? <laughs> that's really about it. Ryan Blaze, Ryan Blaze dissed me one time. I don't feel like it's beef because I feel like I totally destroyed that man. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I, yeah. Talk your game, son. I'm just saying. I'm Talk just your saying, game, son. You know, it's not competition. Look, when it comes to the uh, to the rhymes, the bars, man, yeah. lyrics and all of that, I think you're one of the best. Yes, I, I appreciate love, it. I love your track. I love your track. Um, so you need to forgive me, right? Mm. Uh, I came to B-Dub 2000 and 2008. Okay. Right? Yeah. And 2008, then I went into UB 2010. I had not become as woke as I needed to have been. Had I known that I was going to be on radio yeah. and be in the B-Dub entertainment industry, right? I needed to be woke then so then I would know yeah. who like, was who, what, yeah, was what was happening. what was So most of the, th- uh, the stuff that I get to come across, right, mm. is through my research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now I have to speak to Balaclava Blanco. Mm. But Balaclava Blanco been blown for a minute now. And there's a lot of things that, <laughs> and there's a, there's a few things that I need to know about that. Yeah. But everybody else knows about these things, mm-hmm. you know. So it's a bit of a twix, but I make it work. Yeah. I say all of this to say I came across your song, Oh, dog. Yeah. Uh, settle the score. Yes, sir. Jehovah yes, sir. is Lord. <laughs> That's my job. And, and you say something, something like, something like. She got nice legs. I divide them like a fraction. Yeah. Come on. Come on. What the heck? Come on. So I appreciate your lyricism. Bless, bless. But I also found out that just like Jay-Z and Lil Wayne, you don't write your raps. I don't write my raps. Tell me about that, bro. What's that process like? Um. Okay. So basically, I come in there. Yeah. I listen to the That's beat. what you said last <laughs> night. I come in there. I come in, I there. Come in there. Hey, man. Hello. Isn't this a kid's show? <laughs> this is the Juice 2.0. Okay, right? okay, okay. All right. <laughs> come in there. <laughs> so, I come in there. Right. I hear the beat. Yeah. I'm like, okay, bet. And, I'm, you know, I'll be like... <laughs> and then it comes to me. Damn. Sometimes it'll be like a word. Yeah. Like, it'll be like legend. Yeah. I'm like, legend. I'm a legend. <laughs> Will Smith. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, ah, it just stop, starts... Stop. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Wow. So, and then I'll think of, like, four bars. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll record them. And then I'll sit and think about the next four bars. Damn. And record them just like that. Sometimes, oh. sometimes, like, bro, sometimes, no lie, I could do, like, a verse. A whole verse. Just... Just I like that. I think about it. Like, um, there's a song that I did with... Um, I did a performance on Local Corner. Uh-huh. And, um... That verse I had written in my head, but like over some time, like let's say a week, yeah. I had just been thinking about this, you know. And then by the I, I then made the beat and yeah. just recorded the whole verse just like that. You know what I mean? Because like I had the idea already in my head. That's crazy. So sometimes it happens like that. Dude, 11.33 is your time. We're chilling with one of the hottest rappers in B-Dub. Balaclava Blanco is in the building. Text us, call us, and what's up, ass. You can do that on the text line 1493. 1492, rather. And if you can, if you want to call us, 3956962. For your WhatsApp, plus 267 Remember, you can hit us up on my Twitter at TK Dimples or on my IG. And that's at TK Lennon. What's your IG, my brother? So they hit you up right now. Balaclava Maybe we can check. Boss. Balaclava Balaclava Boss. Balaclava Boss on everything. On everything. Oh. Do that right <laughs> <laughs> Do that right now. We're going to go to a short musical break and then we're back with B Dobbs' finest, Balaclava Blanco. Keep it locked and stay juicy. All right, all right, all right. And we're black with Balaclava Blanco, the guest this morning. We're having a good time just chit chatting. He has new music alert. Boom, 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 boom. If you haven't checked it already, you got to go check it out, man. EP, brand new EP, self titled, it's simply titled Balaclava Blanco. And let me tell you something that you guys didn't know. And I'm super, super grateful to this gentleman right here because nobody know, except for Tads, of course, that this gentleman right here is in charge, is responsible for creating and designing the Juice 2.0 logo, man. You got to clap your ass for that. Nah, come on, guys. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Ah, uh, bro. So the logo that you see, uh, where is it going to be? Is it on my right? Which, whichever. <laughs> yeah, the logo on my right. Right here. Whichever we have. 
This is the gentleman. I appreciate it. How long did it take you uh, to make the Juice 2.0 logo? Um, First of all, thank you, bro. Oh, it's a pleasure. Did I it's pay you pleasure. enough? You pay me enough. Yeah. I mean, you can pay me more. I, I got out. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to drop a little more money, you, you know, can do, do that. We can, we can, we can, we can work something out. One time. But um, it took me... It took me a couple of days yeah. because like I, I worked through a lot of ideas and then I try and strip them down. Do you yeah, know what I yeah. mean? So I'll sketch like a bunch of things yeah. and then I'll digitize it. And then when I digitize it, I'm like, nah, this is whack. And then I'll put like, you know what I mean? I go through a whole process. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it took me, I don't know, like a couple of days. A couple of days, yeah. I love the logo, man. And uh, yes, there's a I message over it. here from a Tato in Machudi. Remember, if you want to drop a uh, WhatsApp, do that on plus 2673956962. Tato in Machudi, I appreciate you, man, with the peace sign right there. So much love going out to you, too, for doing that. He says, Settle the score was taking the whole of B dub by storm. I still love the song. I should also check out your latest project. Keep being yourself. Hey, bless. I appreciate One that time. so much. I One appreciate time. that so much. Set of the Score is a beautiful track, and we're just talking about how he made the Juice 2.0 logo. So go ahead, him, if you want your logos as well. Yep. He's a graphic designer. You're a lot of other things, yeah? yeah Sound definitely. engineer. Sound engineer. Ooh, a little bird tells me that you're actually working on something big. How's that feel? Um, Feels good. Also, little bird. Feels good. Little yeah, bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good, man. We about to we about to change the game. Hopefully, it yeah. becomes you know a, a lot bigger. So look, when you're doing a lot of other things, life is funny, right? Mm. I listen to a lot of motivational speakers, yeah, and yeah, sometimes yeah. it gets confusing. Mm. You would listen to a guy who says, "Put your eggs in one basket, focus on it." Yeah, focus on one right? thing. Yeah. Because when you focus on one thing, then it's your effort, it's yeah. your mental game, it's your intellectual. Everything but goes into then you listen to one other guy who says, look, if you put your eggs in one basket, what happens to the eggs when they crack? Yeah. What happens to you when they crack, right? Exactly. But you, on the other hand, you have sort of propagated for the latter. You have said, look, don't do that. Don't put yeah. your eggs in one basket. Spread them around a little bit. Yeah. But the question that I have for you, one, is, is that working for you? Number two, doesn't that affect then what people primarily know you for, which is the music? You know, um, I think, like for me, yeah, there's what people know me for, yeah. right? Yeah. But there's also what people pay me for. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Hey, hey, exactly. So like, um, I have a lot of interests and a lot of things that I do, and if it wasn't for that, yeah, I would be hella broke. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, as in music. Doesn't bring that much in. Yeah. You know, uh, I check my streaming things. I, I be like, oh, is that a hundred dollars? Oh, great. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's not much. You can't. You, you you can't live on that. You can't. So, um, I feel like you need to diversify. Yeah. In the sense that you don't, you shouldn't just have one skill set. Okay. I'm not saying you have to do everything in the world. Right. But at least several things. your skill set yeah. well, no, you know what I mean expand on your skills so that in case something doesn't go right oh yeah you can do this over here you know what I mean so I'm I'm That's not so really weird. too too concerned about like music like yeah. how people see me as like oh a musician or whatever like that's dope I, right. I, I love making music and I'm putting music out right because I like making music you mm. get me? but it's not necessarily like oh I'm a I'm a rapper or I'm an artist and that's what I am and that's it you know what I mean because yeah. I feel like I, I don't want to put anyone on blast or say anything about anyone please do like, nah nah <laughs> 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 well maybe I might it depends yeah, you know yeah. what I mean but right. like I know that a lot of artists are struggling, especially oh, yeah. artists that are only artists. You get me? True. All they do is music. Therefore, it's rough. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I don't. I, I, I feel I, you. I don't like that. the industry, man. Yeah. It's it's not a lot of money flying around and just circling around. Yeah. If you're a music artist, you gotta push hard for you, you to get paid. You gotta push hard. You gotta push hard. You have very interesting thoughts, man. I've heard you say that there are no influences in B Dub. Yeah, I said that. Explain. I said that. Maybe I should put it in different words, but basically, what I meant, mm -hmm. right, is. What I see as an influencer yeah. is somebody... This is about to be juicy, by the way. Because they watch it. They watch it. They, they watch it. They listen it. So, basically, this is what I'm saying, right? Yeah. If people follow you because you look good, 
right? Yeah. You bec- for me, yeah. you become an influencer when you can show me that you can convert those people into customers. Mm. That's that's what making a career out of being an influencer is, right? Right, right. You have what you call a conversion rate. Yeah. You get 50,000 likes. Right. How many of those 50,000 people are actually buying into your brand? Talk about it, bro. Or are they just liking your Talk picture because you're pretty? Bro. Right, right. You know what I mean? Do you have, let's say you're pretty. If you sell a makeup mm-hmm. or have a makeup brand or have a eyelash brand or have a whatever it is that girls yeah, you know, are look, into, are into yeah. because a lot of, a lot of the time it'll be a pretty girl. She gets all these likes. Half the time it's niggas who are not about to do anything. Right. Or guys. Right. Who are not about to do. Pardon the language, you know, by the way. Bad, <laughs> my bad. Right. It's guys who aren't really about to do anything. Yeah. In terms of like becoming a customer. Yeah. But. Social media has become like a dating site as well. So you, mm. you know, people that's, meet people on there. And sometimes that's what provides the lifestyle. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I get exactly where you go exactly. with this. Yeah. So I'm just saying like, I feel like an influencer is somebody who can convert people into customers. That's having the real influence because there's people who have influence in real life. Yeah. You know what I mean? They are people who walk around and make things happen mm. in person. Right, right. You know, right. so you need to be able to do that. But like online, you know, convert whatever is happening online to real life. I feel you. You get me? I That's why you. brands work with influencers because influencers get people into stuff. There's a brand called Gymshark. Right. Um, they built their whole business off of influencer marketing. At a rate of a hundred, how much do you think the country is at in terms of you know, influencers. Influencers. Um, at, at least, at least, let me put it this way: in terms of appreciating it, um, the market. It's up and down, man. Up and down, yeah. I'd say, I'd say, generally, generally, yeah. Generally, I'd say it's at like twenty-five. Oh, that's a low, right? It's there. low. It was super low. That's super low because I know. Okay, like I know um, of one scenario, of um, I, I can't remember which girl it was, but she managed to sell a bunch of products that she was endorsed by. You know mm. what I mean? And then I'm like, okay, that's clearly showing that the right. people that follow you are, you know, into into what you're doing. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're actually making something up, out of the platform that you have. Right, right, you right. You know, most times, and I'm not hating on anybody, most times it's like just pretty face or whatever. Yeah. And a, and a lot of the time, is the, there's this competition that happens because yeah. some girls just post her face. Yeah, she wake up in the morning, go outside, get some good light, and post her face. Boom! Right, everybody likes that. Right, other shorty on this side, she has to go super hard, get like the face beat, <laughs> make sure she's in a bikini. Yeah, you know all that, and then it doesn't quite get the same type of traction. Do you do you think Tyra is an influencer? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Oh, because yeah. I, I, I didn't die. To be honest, that's who I was talking about when I said sold products or whatever. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, got, I think I felt uh, that. Yeah. I felt that. How's that coming up, man? So that's why I'm saying. How's, yeah. that, how's that coming up, man? Do you guys what still do you talk? Mean? Do you guys still talk? Do you say hi? Do you say bye? <laughs> I know you get you we, get tired of, of, of speaking about. You must get yeah, tired get, now, every, yeah? Every, every, in, I feel like, bro, yeah. I was dating her for the whole, all of us. All your life. You know what I mean? No, nah, not even all my life. Like, Every guy who was ever into her, every guy in the country who thinks she's beautiful, it was like, I got, I got her you? for us. <laughs> it was for us. Clap your hands, this? clap your hands. Come on, don't make tabs is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I want to believe that we're cool. We yeah. don't really, I wouldn't say we talk. Right. You know, but we're cool. We can have a casual back and forth. Bro, you had, you had Tyra, dog. Yeah. Man. <laughs> But come on, she was, you know, she was young. Yeah. She, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying nothing because, yo, right. man, I'm just saying. Like, I feel hey, you. Man. I feel you. But look, I asked that to to say those are some of the names that come up when you mention B-Dub influencers, right? Yeah. Who else you got? Oh, man, it's difficult because also. I mean, after me. I'll be honest, bro. Yeah. Like, we I, don't, I don't actually see Tyra's post. Like, oh, yeah? I muted her. Oh, like when we broke up. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't actually see what she does. Why you why you mute her, bro? Because, bro, we broke up. So? 
I don't want to look at somebody happy without me. Beater ass. <laughs> Beater <laughs> ass. That's I what it is. Ma- I was hurt. You get me? Shots, but like, man. it's not It's not so much, yeah. it's not like I hate her or I'm mad I feel at her. But like, you. I mean, if somebody break up with, if you have, like, okay, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I love all my exes, bro. But <laughs> like, it's exes. How many are they? 100 bodies? Nah, come on. Yeah, okay, my I don't. I don't date like that. Oh, yeah. I don't date a lot. You, you've also said that when you're in a lit, your your shortest relationship was a three month. Was three mm-hmm. months, yeah. yeah Everything so. else has been like two years. I feel you. You know what I mean? I feel you. But like, I know of some of my exes, like we had a breakup and mm-hmm. then I just be posting happy stuff. I'll be happy as hell. Yeah. You know, and like, I, I've had people come to me and be like, bruh. <laughs> Are you so happy like on the gram and, and I'm like bro I'm, yeah. I'm just posting stuff because now I'm you know what I mean like, I feel you I post whatever I want dog so it's, it's that situation it's a lot it's a lot to talk about when it's you man it's it's too many things to talk about so we have a part two to this but one of yeah. the most important things uh, that you're here for among a lot of other things is your music yes sir right? yes, brand sir. new EP out self titled why did you title it Balaclava Blanco um, because I didn't have a name for it. Uh huh. It's all drill tracks, and I was like, I'm not gonna call it drill, nah. Drilluminati, or like whoa, drills. We're not trying to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I was just like, you know, this is, I guess, like a my first real project. Well, not my first as Balaclava Blanco, but like yeah. I felt myself in this one. Like it felt. Genuine, like if you listen to the songs and the, right. and the raps and stuff, especially if you've known me or you've been in in my life, you yeah. know, like oh, he's talking about that situation. Ah, he's talking about this. Right. So right. it just felt more genuine to me. You I know what you. I mean? Yeah. How many tracks are we looking at? Uh, it's it's like a four track EP. Four tracks. Really? Is is because I'm dropping something else talk like about a month it. or two talk you know about what it mean? what are you dropping in a month or two i'm man? dropping a, another oh, you're hearing it first on the juice 2.0 by yes, the way yes sir yes sir i'm dropping another i guess it's an album mm-hmm. um it's go it's gonna be called lit no more yeah and uh yeah it's 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 also like personal you know what i mean yeah it's just like a journey from being up there to I wouldn't say down here because I, I don't feel like that. You know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh. But just saying like it feels like a like a like a encore, like coming Straight. back on stage for the last time. Straight up. Thing. You know, I don't let's I'm not, not saying it's my last project. Let's not make it yeah, let's not make yeah. it the last time. But yeah. lit no more. Yeah. In a month or two to come. In a month or two. Uh any features that we could look forward to? Probably one. <laughs> one or two, maybe two. One or two. But um the only feature on my on this EP that I just dropped was Ando. Ando yep. was one of my you know, my the young bull man. <laughs> That's my guy right there. What the That's heck? my guy. So Ando dropped a verse. Um he's he's like literally man, he's on like two songs yeah. and like there's no other features. Chuck. So but there's one feature that I'm trying to get. Yeah. And that's Lite. He just, you know, I'm always featuring like the same people I feel. Oh, yeah. But it's because they hard, bro. Of they course. like dope. You also, know there's, I mean? a, there's, a, there's a certainty level that you're at now. You yeah. know what kind of people are. Uh, I know. They are. Exactly. So I think there's maximum like two features. I'm on all the production. Amazing. Um, yeah. All right. So this is like a pre thing to some of the amazing things that will happen. Yes, but tell sir. me about the feedback so far, man, since. Balaclava Blanco dropped. Whoa, it dropped uh, 28th, April 29th? Yeah, 20, 28th. 28th April, right. Um, it's been great, bro. Like, yeah. I didn't expect it either, you know, because, like, I never really, I try not to have expectations when I drop. Straight up, straight so, up. So, um, it was it was dope, man. Like, I haven't had any negative. I had one person. Who said what? I had one person. Who said what? They spoke to me for, like, 30 minutes. They're like, so, is this it? <laughs> I'm like, is this it? He's like, it's a she, by the way. It's a she, yeah. Is this it? You keep us waiting for so long. To give us to this. To give us this. I'm like, hey. So they were not happy? So I was like, yo, what's, what, you know, what's wrong with it? Or, you know. It's not, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a. Okay. But, but she, it just felt like. I don't know, Loki. I just feel like she just wanted to have a conversation with me. Just, I mean, thirty minutes, bro. Come on, bro. Like a minute, just telling me about how 
my project ain't it. I kept the world waiting for so long. I disappeared. I apparently I had the whole country just in your hands, in my hands, and then I dropped them. Do you feel like that though? Do you feel? I, I get it. You know, sometimes when you hear from people, it's like, mm. nah, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. But how, how about you personally? Do you feel like you had it going and then it dropped at some point? I feel like I never had it going because of the way in my mind, my mindset. Yeah. Conquering Botswana was ah. not a, a priority. It wasn't what I was going for. You I know what I mean? You. So I even when everyone, funny enough, even when everyone thought I was like happy and all that, I was actually mad as hell. Yeah. You know, I wasn't happy at wanted all. Bigger things, bigger things. I wanted bigger things and I wanted everything to be more legit. I wanted to have something to show for everything that I've done. I wish you everything I've invested. Yeah. I wish you the best with this project and so many more projects to come. You know what I mean? You're very talented, bro. Hands down. Bless. So yes, much I of what's happened it. in the past and what's going on now and what shall come, it's still the same vibe that I feel settle settle the score. I'm titled some of the best music that you've given us. Bless. It's the same vibe and I and I really love it. Uh Bless. as we're about to close, right? Mm -hmm. What do you want out of life, bro? Oh, before we get out of that. Yeah. Get at that. Celebrity crush. Let's go. Also, are you seeing someone right now? I'm not seeing anyone right oh, now. Oh, it's been a minute? It's been a minute. Yeah. Well, not really. I, I went through a, a breakup 2021. Oh. Yeah. 2021. Whose fault was it? Uh, I'm going to say it's my fault because I like to take responsibility. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. But really, it, it was going that way. Yeah, it was COVID also. Anyway. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was just going, it was about to end. Like, Shocks. it was just how, it, I, how I could see it coming. How long, how long had it been? Like two and a half years. <laughs> bro. So you really crazy. are that dude, huh? I'm that dude, bro. Dude, how are you a rapper and that dude when it comes to, we're not condoning anything, yeah. by the way. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's like a, isn't that like an oxymoron, like an ironic thing? It's crazy because like, like before I I got on or whatever, before everyone knew me. Yeah. Like girls maybe like me. I don't know. Maybe it's the looks. You know what I'm I, ain't, I ain't trying to shout out my daddy. <laughs> shout out my mama. You know what I'm saying? Good jeans and all that. Right. But like it wasn't, it wasn't, no, I wasn't getting that type of attention. You I know what you. I mean? I Soon as you. something happened with the music, uh -huh. I'd be like, hey, my name, I scared. Okay, 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 okay. I don't even have to do nothing. You don't, you don't gotta do jack, bro. You know, so I feel like it, it gets confusing. It confused me a little bit because I'm like, yeah. damn, bro. Uh -huh. Every girl that I want to talk to already knows me. Yeah. It's down, like, you know what I mean? I so when you first, when that first happens, it, it'll blind you. It'll confuse you. It has you. the potential. It'll mess you up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But like, I, I, I had to learn, like, it's nothing. Having a whole lot of girls yeah. is a good thing. As in, them wanting you yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. But you being able to be like this one. I want this one. For yeah. So that's what I be that's what I be doing all the time. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's like that, but yeah. then I'd be like, but this one. You know what I mean? That's my fish. This my woman. In the in the ocean. In the ocean pull up. You see fish, shark, whatever. Yo, we're this gonna one. we're gonna start rolling together, bro, because we think the same. I'm you telling you. Vibes. Bro, I'm telling you. Energy dog. I'm telling you. In just under a minute, man, tell the mm. world. What you want out of life as Balaclava Blanco? I want to be self-actualized. I want to be the person that I see myself as in my eyes. Ooh. That's what I want in life. Because it be a struggle sometimes, it right? Struggle. What you see and what is happening. Exactly. And there's, that, there's that gap. I feel you, dog. So I want to feel that gap. Yeah. My That's brother, it. God bless you. Amazing project. Uh, congratulations. I appreciate it. Until appreciate the next it. time. Until the, I don't know if you want to say something. Somebody who's listening and is going to watch this. Um, yo, listen, if you, if you under 30 years old, if you under 35, take the risk. Yeah. Chase your dreams. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Right. You know what I mean? Straight up. Take that risk right now because when you're older and you have more responsibilities, you got kids or whatever, yeah. it's going to be harder for you to actually pull something and take that risk. So yeah. now if you feel like you got to move to another country, do that now. I feel if you. If you feel like you got to... Release a song, do it now, do not it. later, right, right now. now. 
My brother, I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for stopping by the Juice Bless. to the Planner. It had to be done. It had to be done. It had, it had, to, had be to be done. So much more to speak about, but yes, we'll, sir. we'll hit you up, man. Then ah, we'll, for sure. We can for be sure. drinking, a, to come back. drinking a few things. Yeah, then, then you hear, you get the juice. Then we get the juice. <laughs> <laughs> one time, until I speak to you and see you one more time, my brother. Yes, I appreciate it. Peace. All right, that's how you do it, Balaclava Blanco. It's a wrap. Signed, sealed, and delivered. There's a song like that. Okay, I always say that. But yeah, signed, sealed, and delivered. Thank you very much for doing this with us. Catch the next episode, next video right here. Cheers. My name is TK. It's been such a wonderful thing. Have a beautiful Saturday the rest of your weekend. Tomorrow we're in. Same time, same spot. This is the Juice 2.0. Do one thing for me. Of all things, this one thing. Stay juicy. All right? Peace. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.